So I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Creative Kit that is built into Picasa Web Albums as a way to edit photos. It used to be called Picnic, now it's a little bit different, but it's still kind of the same idea. So what you would want to do is first just to find Picasa Web Albums, Google it, and then you will need a Gmail or a Google account. And then you're going to look for My Photos and I'm going to open this one album where I have a sample picture that I'm going to use and I'm going to show you how to make a silhouette. This is kind of like a first back to school night, uh, first back to school project that I do in the beginning of the school year um, and it's actually quite easy. So we're going to go from something like this to like that. So notice I'm taking this picture from the inside of my classroom with the door open, the sun in the background um, shining on him so that it casts a shadow, which is what you're going to be looking for to get a good silhouette. The cleaner the background, the better. This one is busy, but I'm going to show you what we can do to solve that problem. Um, but, you know, depending on your, your situation, um, you may get better or worse pictures that way. So now that I've got this open, I can go to actions and do edit in creative kit and notice there's just some basic editing tools over here but I'm interested in the effects so you can click on the effects bar and there are a whole bunch of different filters that you can practice and play with um, and I would definitely encourage that but for today we're going to be looking for the duotone one and it gives you a default blue and yellow I like black and white, so I'm going to change this to black being the first color and then looking for all white for the second color. Now I'm going to adjust the brightness and contrast so that I can make it a really high contrast, sharp black and white. And make sure that you maintain the whole uh, silhouette there. Then you can press apply. And notice I have a pretty good so a lot of them, but I have a lot of busyness in the background that I want to get rid of. So my next thing is to go over to the top of the toolbar again and press decorate. And they've got some fun tools in here to play with too. I'm going to be using the doodle button and I can adjust the color and I want a white to match my white background here. And I'm going to paint over with this doodle tool and I'm going to start off with a big brush because I have a lot of work to do and go around the big details over here. Now I'm doing this as quickly as possible. You may want to spend a little more time on it, uh, but you know, you can do the, the big areas pretty quickly and then just be a little bit more careful as you get in over to, whoops, over to there. And then if you need, you can just make your brush go down a little bit smaller voila like that and that's pretty good I'm gonna press apply to commit and then I would like maybe whoop, I see a little another spot that I left here so I'm gonna go back fix that little part in his nose okay good press apply again or you can use the eraser tool in there too and next um, the other thing that I have my kids do is I have them add five words to describe themselves so I can get to know them better at the beginning of the year. So I'm going to look for the text tool and I have all kinds of fun fonts that I can use over here. And I'll click on one of them and then up here I'm going to type in some words to describe them. And I have the kids do this themselves. I'm going to pick creative because I like the word creative and I like my students to be creative. Um, but you can do whatever word you want. And then, of course, you can like tweak it, the size, the shape, whatnot. And then over here, you can also choose a different color if you want. And that's pretty much it. You can add as many words as you want. And then when you're done, over here, there's a blue button, Save to My Album. And it will allow you to save it right into your album. Have fun.